Get ready for some exciting news because Toyota might have just revolutionized the entire EV race with its newly released ammonia engine. Yeah, you heard it right. You know how everyone's been talking about hydrogen and electric cars being the future? Well, Toyota has been secretly working on this groundbreaking technology that could save the good old internal combustion engine from becoming extinct. So how does this ammonia engine work, and when can we expect to see it in action? Before we get started, if you want to help our channel grow and keep bringing you even more exciting content, please give a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. We'll really appreciate it. Let's get right into it. You see, while many companies are rushing to embrace electric vehicles, Toyota has been hesitant. They believe people should be free to choose the type of car they want without being forced to buy hectic electric vehicles just to please politicians. But now Toyota has come up with a solution to the emission problem that traditional engines face. They have a secret weapon they've been working on, which is the ammonia engine. This is the same stuff we used in engines during World War II, but this isn't just a retro throwback. Toyota has made incredible advancements in this technology. This classified technology is a game changer that could challenge the dominance of electric vehicles. The call for environmental action is loud and clear. Among the significant contributors to global carbon emissions, the transportation sector takes up a whopping 15% and responds the race for electric vehicles is on, with many hoping they will be the ultimate solution. However, there's another groundbreaking contender in the automotive industry that might just change the game entirely, a joint creation of Toyota and GAC. Ammonia is a substance we already use in vast quantities each year without causing significant pollution. So why not harness its power to propel our automobiles? The technology behind this ammonia engine has been proven and tested, having already been successfully implemented in ships, trains, and buses. Now imagine a world where cars are powered by liquid ammonia, a concept that might seem out of this world, but it's far from fiction. Thanks to the collaboration between GAC and Toyota, a remarkable 2-liter engine has been born, boasting an impressive 161 horsepower. But here's the real magic. This engine reduces carbon emissions by a staggering 90% compared to its petrol-driven counterparts. Talk about innovation taking a giant leap forward. This ammonia-fueled engine comes with other exciting perks too. Since it burns at a slower speed, you won't find yourself frequently stopping at gas stations for refueling. Moreover, ammonia is a readily available resource, making establishing the necessary infrastructure for refueling stations easier than the alternative fuels like hydrogen. As the world shifts its focus to cleaner and greener transportation, the ammonia engine emerges as a serious competitor to electric vehicles. It offers a promising pathway to reducing our carbon footprint without compromising on performance. With the potential to significantly curb carbon emissions in the transportation sector, this revolutionary engine could be a game changer. Moreover, the collaboration between Toyota and GAC marks a milestone in automotive history. Together, they've achieved what was once thought to be impossible, creating an ammonia-powered engine fit for mainstream use. This collaboration demonstrates the power of collective efforts and driving technological advancements that benefit both humanity and the planet. Now let's address the burning question. Isn't ammonia poisonous to humans? It's a valid concern, and we'll delve into that in a few, but before we do that, let's explore why Toyota chose ammonia as its fuel of choice for this innovative engine. Alternative fuels like hydrogen have faced challenges due to storage complexities and a lack of supporting infrastructure. However, with ammonia, the situation seems promisingly different. Surprisingly, we already use more than 60% of the global ammonia production for agricultural purposes and in the trucking and maritime industries for transportation. This shows that ammonia is already a familiar and widely utilized substance, paving the way for its application in powering vehicles. As we'd mentioned, GAC and Toyota aren't the first to explore ammonia's potential as a gasoline replacement. A decade ago, another Korean Institute for Energy Research constructed and tested the ammonia gasoline hybrid vehicle. However, our bold heroes, GAC and Toyota, are the first to take on the challenge of implementing ammonia-powered engines in passenger automobiles. With their vast experience in producing both internal combustion engines and electric vehicles, they are uniquely positioned to tackle this technological feat. During a recent meeting with Toyota, investors raised the question of why only 1.1% of Toyota's current vehicles on the road are electric. In response, Toyota's newly appointed CEO, Koji Sato, assured everyone that the company remains firmly committed to electric vehicles. This reaffirmation of Toyota's commitment to EVs indicates that the ammonia engine is not meant to replace electric vehicles, but rather to complement them in the pursuit of a greener future. 
The automotive landscape is evolving rapidly, and exploring diverse technologies to reduce carbon emissions and combat climate change is essential. The journey towards sustainable transportation is multifaceted, and each innovation, like the ammonia engine, adds a new dimension to the quest for eco-friendly mobility. Beyond passenger cars, the potential applications of ammonia-based engines could extend to various other industries, further reducing the carbon footprint of transportation as a whole. While the government promotes electric vehicles as environmentally friendly, there's a hidden truth. Producing electric vehicle batteries requires metals like nickel and lithium, depleting our Earth's fossil fuel resources. You might be wondering if ammonia, the new contender in the automotive industry, is a dangerous substance. Ammonia can be toxic, but it also holds immense potential as a renewable energy source. Integrating ammonia as a vehicle fuel presents unique challenges that require careful consideration and planning. Ammonia is a highly hazardous substance, and its manufacturing, storage, and transportation would necessitate an entirely new infrastructure. Safety measures must be paramount to ensure that any potential risks are minimized. However, the encouraging progress we've witnessed in this field suggests that overcoming these obstacles is indeed possible. But why choose ammonia as a fuel? It might seem counterintuitive to consider a poisonous chemical for vehicle propulsion. However, there is a growing interest in using ammonia as a potential transportation fuel that is less harmful to the environment. A recent study published by Frontier Sand sheds light on how ammonia could overcome the challenges hydrogen engines face. One of the main hurdles in adopting hydrogen as a clean energy source lies in its low density, making safe and cost-effective storage and transportation difficult. In contrast, ammonia offers a promising solution due to its carbon-free nature and relatively effective storage capabilities. Unlike hydrogen, which has a density similar to that of air, making it cumbersome to handle, ammonia's properties are more conducive to safe storage and transportation. Liquid ammonia presents a viable alternative for storing hydrogen. It's an excellent hydrogen carrier, proving to be cost-effective and energy-efficient compared to other storage methods like liquid or high-pressure compressed hydrogen. During the Second World War, it was employed to power buses in Belgium when diesel fuel became scarce. Belgium's creative solution involved mixing ammonia with coal gas to keep the buses running. Fast forward to the present day and we're exploring the potential of using ammonia to spark ignition engines. But while ammonia can compete with gasoline in terms of emissions, there is a concern about unburdened ammonia acting as a pollutant, especially in rich air-to-fuel mixtures. Passenger safety is an important aspect to consider. The consequences could be severe in case of a collision and an ammonia leak. Ammonia poses health risks and can have dangerous side effects if exposed in high quantities. Its slow-burning behavior might lead to incomplete combustion, leaving drivers stranded with engines that refuse to start. However, there is hope on the horizon. GAC has diligently addressed these challenges, finding solutions for emissions requirements and high-density containers. Toyota aims to start testing ammonia-powered vehicles by 2026, bringing us one step closer to a future where charging electric vehicles for hours becomes a thing of the past. The transition to ammonia-powered engines would require significant research, development, and infrastructure investment. Adapting current vehicles and engine designs to accommodate this new fuel would also pose technical challenges. Additionally, consumer acceptance and awareness would be crucial in the widespread adoption of ammonia-powered vehicles. Educating the public about this technology's benefits, safety precautions, and environmental impact will be vital to gaining trust and support. As companies like Toyota and GAC continue their pioneering efforts, it's crucial to approach this journey with caution, innovation, and a commitment to creating a better, more eco-friendly world for generations to come. The exploration of ammonia-powered engines presents a compelling opportunity to revolutionize the automotive industry's clean and sustainable transportation approach. The potential benefits of reduced carbon emissions and a renewable energy source are undoubtedly attractive. So next time you hear someone talking about the future of transportation, don't just assume it's all about electric vehicles. Keep an ear out for the exciting buzz around ammonia engines and how they might just revolutionize the way we travel. The journey has just begun and the road ahead promises to be filled with groundbreaking discoveries and transformative innovations. That's all from this video, so do you think ammonia could be a possible fuel in the near future? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section below, and if you've made it this far, we appreciate your attention. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. See you in the next one.